Welcome, I'm Teresa Sigmund, founder of Seam Sensational and creator of the Sew Like a Pro training series. Now, if you've been with me for a while and have scrolled through the website looking at the program overview page, you're gonna think this woman and this dress looks really familiar. And it's because Liesl here was the model for the complete basic ball gown program. And she has lost quite a bit of weight since I originally made the dress for her just last year. Now what I wanna walk you through tonight is a couple of the changes that are possible and then a couple of the changes that we're actually going to do. So I'm gonna walk you through if you're considering buying a dress that is a little too large for you or if you changed your diet such as Liesl did and then you know made it a whole lot healthier and was able to shed some weight, what you need to do to take this in so that it looks good. So let's just run through everything that works and doesn't work. Now. Right off the bat, what we have already done behind the scenes, because you know how the behind the scenes stuff works, is we took out the old bra, um, because it was too large, and then put in a smaller one. Don't you love it that we lose it where we don't necessarily want to? <laughs> Such as female. So anyway, I've already replaced the bra in here, and it's just safety pinned in, but that did shift everything. Before, the neckline of the dress was hitting about an inch or two and a half centimeters below where it is right now. So there was really a lot of cleavage, which was our goal to begin with. Now, in order to help the dress fit better, we've actually pulled it up an inch, maybe an inch and a half, so two and a half to three and a half centimeters higher than what it originally was. And in the back, if I can have you rotate, please. Oops, stepping on floats. In the back right here, um, we could not go up quite as high. I really would like to have taken this up about an inch, two and a half centimeters higher than what it is, but the armpits got in the way. Not her armpits, the dress armpits. Um, there you go, thank you. So you'll notice that there's a whole lot of material right here, and the seam of the armpit, see if I can get that out of the way, the seam of the armpit is actually stopping the dress from being able to go up anymore. So if you really love the dress and completely want to overhaul it, I would recommend taking the sleeve off, which unfortunately includes taking off all the lace and the rhinestones, rip that seam, take in the dress, take in the sleeve of the seam and set everything back in so that it fits better and then this whole area would lay a little smoother. Okay, go ahead and turn back to front, please. Now, despite her weight loss, because this lycra, I used a double layer matte lycra, it's so resilient that it actually still really looks pretty darn good in the front. If I have a turn towards the back again, she's getting her workout here, then you'll notice the wrinkles right here. And part of that is just because the leotard is loose, she doesn't have the flesh to fill it out like she did before. I was able to pull it up a little bit, but I also went in and pulled the trunks down about an inch and a half. So I will go in and reshape the leg elastic and then that will fit this, make this fit better in her legs because right now it's loose there and it wants to ride up a little bit. And also by pulling it down between her legs, making the stride a little tighter, it smoothed out this area pretty nicely. If I can have you turn sideways, please. I want you to see how big this is. I've got, oh geez, um, probably a total of four inches, maybe a little more, so somewhere between like 12 to 15 centimeters. There's really a lot that we could take in, but because she is still losing a little weight, she still changed her diet, we're not going to do that. We're gonna leave it for now. It saves money. It lets her put that towards another dress, and then since her body is still changing, why take it in now when it still fits pretty well? If you are going to take your own dress in, I would not just take in big, huge seams in the back like I just demonstrated. I would take in a little bit on each princess seam, boom, a little bit on each princess seam, and then some in the back. And if you still needed it, then maybe right here. While her arms are up, let's go ahead and talk about the sleeve. Now, technically, the sleeve is really pretty wrinkly. Um, part of that reason is because her, this is only a single layer lycra, so it's going to be less, um, less tight, less binding than the double layer on the leotard. Also, per 
square inch per square centimeter, there's way more lace and stones than on the bodice. So that also stops it from being able to expand and contract some. Thus, the sleeves look a little bit baggier and a little bit wrinklier than the bodice. Now, we did go in, I went in and I safety pinned in one sleeve from about here to here, taking in about an inch, two and a half centimeters. And when she was in dance position, it really did not make a whole lot of difference. What needed to be done was to rip this entire section out, which I described earlier. That would make a big difference because then she wouldn't have poochy armpits. So for your dance or skate costumes, you really want this area to be as tightly fitting, not tight uncomfortable, just tight looking, so that it really covers or hugs the shape of your armpit so that you don't look like you have bat wings. <laughs> now, this shape right here is of course looser now because she doesn't have the, the, arm, the upper arm coverage like she did before, or the upper arm flesh like she did before. Not a big deal. Once she's in dance position or if you're skating or anything else like that, this is gonna be perfectly fine because when you're, anytime you're up, your bicep muscle is gonna fill out that. So I would not worry about this if it's your dress. Um, we did check the length of the floats, it's fine. One big thing that I want to address um, was one, changing the bra, changing the trunks and what your options were. But one thing we absolutely have to do is shorten the skirt. So what happens when you're larger or when Lisa was larger, the skirt was trimmed where she took up more width. Now, as she got smaller, the skirt got longer and longer and longer because there's nothing in there to fill it out. So her skirt is actually about an inch to an inch and a half or two and a half to four centimeters longer now than when it was originally made for. So it's hitting at the bottom of the ankle bone. That's kind of a dangerous length for dancing in. So what I'm going to do is shorten the skirt to so that it's about an inch, two and a half centimeters above the top of the ankle bone, which is a much more appropriate and safe length. Now, there are two ways to go about doing that. If you were going to take the bodice in because it's, um, it needs to be taken in because it was too big, then I would definitely rip the skirt off at the top, take in all of your bodice seams, take in your skirt, put everything back on. Of course, you have to do the lace and the rhinestones. But because Liesl has chosen, for now, to leave the bodice as it is, I'm actually going to shorten it from the bottom. And what that entails is, of course, removing the crinoline, what we in America call horse hair, and cutting out the fishing line, removing the stones on this top layer of the skirt, retrimming everything, setting it all back in. So my time estimate on this, in case you're doing it yourself, is going to be probably a minimum of three hours. If you're slow or haven't done it before, I would allow possibly even five or six hours. It can be a little hairy scary. But we are, that is it. We're gonna kind of redo this dress, even though it will still look the same afterwards. She'll feel much better dancing in it and it will be a lot safer for her lengthwise. So there you go. Hope you got some great tips out of that. If you enjoyed this video, tell all your dancing, skating friends. Go to www.seamsensational.com and sign up to receive the blog if you don't already get it. And I will tell you, or I will see you in another training video soon. Thanks so much. Please leave me a comment below about what you learned in this video. Thanks again. Bye. Okay, it's recording. It's like Hollywood, only a crazy makeshift version. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if I had known how difficult and time consuming all this would be, I probably would never have started it. That 12 minutes before that up turns off. <laughs> okay. Wait, am I I didn't turn this off? Okay. I'm <laughs> done. <laughs> no, that's not good. <laughs> okay. Hello. Stop and start. Seeing 
her again because she's actually lost quite a bit of weight since I made the dress for her just a year ago. Thank you. 